3i Atlas contains 33 billion tons of pure nickel. But here's what makes absolutely no sense. Keck Observatory detected zero iron. In every natural comet and asteroid we've ever studied across 60 years of space exploration, these metals appear together. Always. Until now. Let me show you why this is so strange. Here's Halley's Comet. Nickel and iron together, exactly as predicted. Here's Comet Halebop, same thing. Here's asteroid Psyche, nickel iron core, perfectly normal. The nickel to iron ratio in natural space objects ranges from one to one to one to three. It's one of the most consistent patterns in planetary science. But three I Atlas? The nickel to iron ratio exceeds 40 to 1. That's not just unusual, that's impossible by every natural formation model we have. <sighs> the Keck Observatory ran the spectroscopy three times, thinking it was an instrument error. Same result every time. Pure nickel emission lines. No iron carbonyls detected. Subscribe now, because this mystery gets even stranger. I'm tracking every spectroscopy reading, every anomaly that doesn't fit natural comet physics, and 3i Atlas has eight documented behaviors that defy explanation. You don't want to miss what we discover next. So scientists tried to explain this. First theory, maybe solar wind stripped away the iron during its journey, but the math doesn't work. It would take 100 million years of solar wind exposure to remove that much iron. And 3i Atlas is only 80,000 years old based on trajectory analysis. Second theory, photochemical processes could separate the metals. But lab experiments show this requires temperatures exceeding 1,500 Kelvin, way hotter than any comet environment. Third theory, maybe it formed in a nickel-rich region of space, but every stellar formation model shows nickel and iron condensed together at the same temperature, 1,400 Kelvin. You can't get one without the other in natural stellar nucleosynthesis. Unless it's not natural. Here's where this gets truly bizarre. On October 15th, spectroscopy detected nickel tetracarbonyl, NiCO4, in the comet's coma. <laughs> now, if you're not a chemist, let me explain why this is a black swan event. Nickel tetracarbonyl is primarily known from one place, industrial metal refinement. It's the key compound in the Mond process, a technique invented in 1890 to purify nickel in factories. You heat impure nickel with carbon monoxide at 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. It forms this gas. Then you decompose it at 230 degrees Celsius to get pure nickel metal. It can form naturally in space, but here's the problem. If nickel tetracarbonyl is present, Iron pentacarbonyl should be there too. They form under identical conditions. But 3i Atlas shows nickel tetracarbonyl with zero iron carbonyls. That's like finding a forest with only left-handed trees. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, the scientist who identified Oumuamua's anomalies, 
ranks 3 iAtlas at 4 out of 10 on his technological probability scale. <laughs> That's the same rating he initially gave Oumuamua before additional data came in. But here's what's critical. Loeb emphasizes this is a black swan event, something so statistically improbable that it demands we question our assumptions about natural comet formation. And on October 29th, 3i Atlas has reached its closest point to the sun, about 1.8 astronomical units from Earth, or 270 million kilometers away. Scientists are calling this a black swan moment, a once-in-history chance to watch an interstellar comet react to solar heat in real time. <laughs> its surface ices are now vaporizing, forming a brilliant coma and a tail that could stretch millions of kilometers. <laughs> For the next few days, telescopes worldwide will be trained on it, because once it swings behind the sun, we might never see it again. To be fair, there are alternative explanations. Some scientists suggest this could be debris from a protoplanetary disk with unusual chemistry. Others propose it's a fragment from a differentiated planetesimal, where the iron core separated from the nickel-rich mantle. But both theories struggle with the nickel tetracarbonyl detection and both require formation conditions we've never observed anywhere else in the solar system. And new ESA data confirms the comet's chemical fingerprint, carbon dioxide, cyanide, and atomic nickel vapor, a composition unlike any solar system comet we've seen. Its core is less than one kilometer wide, wrapped in a diffuse coma of gas and dust. Most astonishing of all, Scientists believe 3i Atlas could be 7.6 billion years old, nearly 3 billion years older than our Sun, an ancient relic from before our solar system even existed. Next, check out my analysis on the anomalous polarization of reflected light. It's the newest data suggesting metallic surface components that shouldn't exist on a natural comet. Link in the end screen. This piece of the puzzle changes everything we just discussed. So what's your theory? Natural freak occurrence or something else entirely? Drop your analysis in the comments. <laughs> I read every single one and the best theories get featured in my follow-up video next week. I float between the silence Space fills my lungs With questions